Hello everybody, I am Dr. Sister Rohi Theresa College from the Department of Bombay. Today I am going to deal with the topic photosynthesis. Food is the basic necessities that are required for every living organism for the growth and the development. The plant produces simple carbohydrate. The plants which can produce their own food, they are called as the autotrophs. Basically, this autotrophs utilizes carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, water observed from the soil. In the presence of the sunlight, the chlorophyll convert this in organic components into organic, that is as a simple sugar. As a byproduct, water and the oxygen is liberated, liberated to the atmosphere. Photosynthesis basically occur in the chloroplast. The chloroplast is the cell organelle which is embedded into the plant cell. The plant cell has cytoplasm. In the cytoplasm, the number of chloroplasts are scattered. The chloroplast has the double membrane, the outer membrane and the inner membrane. In between the outer membrane and the inner membrane, there is a space. Inside the inner membrane, there is a large space called as a stroma or matrix. Inside the stroma, there are a number of coin-shaped thylakoids are present. These thylakoids are placed one above the other, forming a pine-like structure or a cylindrical. As a whole, the entire thylakoids are formed by thylakoid membrane. And this total cylindrical thylakoids which are piled up together called as a granum. Granum is a singular and the granum is a plural. So the number of granum varies in the chloroplast inside the matrix. And inside the granum, the number of thylakoids also vary from one granum to the next granum. Each granum is interconnected by the extant thylakoid membrane, which is called as a thread or the leather leg. So, the thylakoid plays an important role in the photosynthesis, consisting of pigments, that is pigment system 1 and the pigment system 2. The photosynthesis is carried out by two reactions. One is light dependent reaction, the other one is light independent reaction. The light dependent reaction also is called as a light reaction or heat reaction. Whereas light independent reaction is called as a dark reaction or Kelvin cycle or Seidel cycle. Now, this light dependent reaction, so called as a light reaction, occurs in thylakoids. Whereas the light independent rea reaction that is the dark reaction after the stoma. Light dependent reaction consists of photosystem 1 and the photosystem 2. Photosystem 1 and the photosystem 2 also is called as pigment system 1 and the pigment system 2. The difference between these two systems are based on the number of accessory elements and electron transport capacity and absorption of the light at different wavelengths. So, the light reaction also is called as a photophosphorylation. Photo means light. So, photophosphorylation, during photophosphorylation, ATP is synthesized. It utilizes the sunlight. Hence, it is called as a photophosphorylation or light reaction. Light reaction is carried out by two cycles, that is cyclic photophosphorylation, non-cyclic photophosphorylation. Now we are going to understand how the cyclic photophosphorylation is carried out and how, how, how it helps with the light reaction. It has three components, reaction center, accessory pigments, electron carriers. And these components play an important role in, in cyclic photophosphorylation. The reaction center consists of chlorophyll A, is also is called as a photosystem 1. And the photosystem 1 is able to observe the UV light at 700 nanometer. Hence, it is also is referred as P700. Chlorophyll A in the photosystem 1 is able to convert 
the solar energy into chemical energy. All the other accessory fil filaments which are present around the reaction center are able to observe the UV lights and pass it on the photon of the chlorophyll A. And they are carotene, xanthophyll, and other chlorophyll pigments. And these are called as a accessory pigments because they are incapable of converting the solar energy into chemical energy. So when chlorophyll A receives the two quanta of light, get excited and emits two electrons. The liberated two electrons are accepted by the primary electron acceptors and these are unknown substance. And they are also labeled as FRS, meaning to say paradoxin reducing substance because these primary electron acceptors are able to reduce the paradoxin, hence the name FRS. When FRS receives the two electrons and they get excited and they want to pass it on the two electrons to the next level by in order to re in order to get back to the stable condition. When two electrons are liberated to paradoxin, the paradoxin get excited and pass two electrons to the next stage called cytochrome B6. Next is a cytochrome F, then plastocyanin. During the process of passing the two electrons and there is a heat loss and the energy is lost. Hence, the ATP utilizing inorganic phosphate, the ATP is produced. Hence, a molecule of ATP is producing, produced during two electron pass from paradoxin to the cytochrome B6. The another ATP is produced when the two electrons are passed from cytochrome B6 to the cytochrome F and in utilizing ADP and inorganic phosphate. Hence, two ATPs are produced. When two electrons pass from the cytoplastocyanin, the plastocyanin get excited and two electrons are pushed towards the B700. Hence, the electrons which are liberated from the chlorophyll A get back to its reaction center. We can see the movements of electrons from chlorophyll A, then to the paradoxin, then cytochrome, at B6 and F, and the plastocyanin. The movement of the electron is in a cycle. Hence, it is called as a cyclic photophosphorylation. During cyclic photophosphorylation, two ATPs are synthesized and NADPH synthesis is absent and the photolysis also is absent. Only they produce two ATP molecules.